you where the bird got out while I was at it. Right there. This loose area here. That's where it got out. So I'm gonna cover that back. But anyway, that's why I'm making this up. This is how the door was it's like it's something vented right open like a door for itself. And over here is where the burrow is. You can see where it dug up that area. That's the dirt that it dug out. But yeah, look at this. Something just opened the door, opened the gate for itself. I don't know if this is a thing, but I pulled this moringa up. And it looked like it ought to be good for something. And I also wonder if you can't pull one of these tubers off and grow another one. Like instead of by seed to grow one using a tuber. Yep, the rhubarb's ready to be great again. She's beautiful. I think the weather has unofficially broken. You know, there's a butterfly in my raised bed. I've been seeing that hole there for the last um, couple of days, actually. This is right there. Right there. When I was a little girl, butterflies used to fly around me all the time. True story. Whoa. Here are my onions that I put in before the, win the winter broke. You can tell it's going to be real sturdy uh, stalks when they come back in. My moringa's over there. That we uh, took off some tubers and put the main stem back in the middle. I might cut that down a little bit further. Well, nothing's up, so never mind. This mint is really nice, but and I like the kind of dino print on the leaves. But, oh, Kentucky Colonel, sweet mint. But it doesn't have much of a mint flavor, I mean. Yeah, it smells minty. But it's not very potent. Mm, it's okay. Not super minty. Onions are regrouping. And also that moringa down there, you can see the stem sticking up. I might cut that, cut that low again. We did the same thing and took a couple of the tubers off. Uh, and I need to bring those plants back out here. Or, oh no, that's the jelly or whatever. I guess from the enduring frost, maybe. I left my oregano out here. I knew it could take it. And here are my herbs. I don't know if it can take it or not, but I have more seeds, so. Here are all the things I brought in indoors. I'm gonna take them out and put them on the table. You see it? I don't see it, but I hear it. 
Oh, it seemed like you followed it when it flew down there. Don't get out of the way so that don't beat you or nothing. Oh, here it is. Dumbass. Now it's caught in the damn netting. It's caught in it? Mm-hmm. Like stuff? Mm-hmm. Huh? Can I get at it? Yeah. But you have to be... Oh, you dumbass. Right there. See that? Mm hmm I don't know. I told you I like this evergreen. You didn't want to believe nobody. I believe you. You don't believe nobody. I believe you, honey. Is there another one in there? Mm -hmm. I don't think so. What's that, too? Oh, it's in another somewhere else. Probably his cousin. Another one caught in there? another cardinal? Do you want me to come lift something? Yeah, no, I don't mind. Oh, you little frantic, frantic little heifer. Whoa. Do I need to come around here? I'm trying to keep her distracted, actually. I should probably plant seeds for stuff that hadn't come up, but we'll see. These are the herbs, the onions, the moringa's just outside there, and that big, that big pot right there. Only one of these uh, spinach have come up. I put three in here. There'll be two cucumbers coming back there. Snow peas are coming up long. Looks like I put one there that didn't come up. I'm not gonna replant it. I am, however, going to replant these two uh, spinach, I think. Here are my microtones. I have several of them. They have these little bitty tomatoes on them. My collard is coming up nicely. I have to decide where I want that to go finally. Oregano. None of this stuff, I don't expect any of this stuff to come up. This is like okra and pimento and back up cucumbers. So I really don't expect that any of that to come up. Moringa. This might or might not come up because I left it outside when it was pretty cold. Yeah, another more green onions and my moringa out there. And that was a good idea for me to put those green onions in those planters because they don't need very much care. And I only use them so fast, so it gives me just enough to be able to harvest every day and uh, use every day. Just a few, just a few. And they grow back by the time I need more. Yeah, so there's my, um, I have several peas around this planter. That one didn't come up, I'll replant it. All of my spinach have come up. I had three red, um, three red lettuce that have not come up. So here I have two of these peas that are coming up in this hard ass soil. And I have a ton of my little, uh, this will be the Kalu garden. And I'll have okra back there. I need to plant, you know, kick those okra off. I need to put them directly, go ahead and put them directly in the dirt next time it rains. Patio tomato. Thin that out. Take that. Maybe just stick it in there. I don't need it, but I may give it away. And who knows, you know. Resituate this one in the middle so it can be great. So as these grow, as these grow around it, I'll just um, dig them out and replant them somewhere. So yeah, my girlfriend said she didn't like the verbena. <laughs> I feel like she, I feel like it's impossible. I feel like she wasn't using it right. It's either tea or you can use it in a variety of cooking recipes instead of lemon. Y'all don't hear me though. Oh, but the thing about verbena, I should do a whole video on that because it wouldn't be long and it'll explain everything. But with the verbena, you have to, um, I don't know. She said, yeah, I grew up into a, a tree like, <laughs> so I know she did grow it. Okay, I'm wasting recording space. Let me figure out how I want to do my tomatoes and verbena. Meanwhile, I'll do it over juice making right now. Because that's what I want to get out of the way. And still out here, so this is going to be really quick. I'm mostly coming out to... Oh, those aren't ready. These are my herbs. Keep that right there until... At least until they come up. 
and then I'll put it right outside the uh, that when I need herbs I can come out and just clip some off. This is a uh, onion again. Need to be watered. Need to cut that moringa. Need to go ahead and plant uh, a couple more cucumbers. I keep saying that and don't put it out here. I'm gonna put it out here right now. Garbana. I'll put the tomato up here. Decide where the collar is gonna go. Again, I think I'm gonna put it back there this year. Cause I'm only going there for wraps and whatnot. It's raw sandwich wraps. But Callaloo can be eaten enough for those as well. And two more peas there, so that's three peas. Yeah, oh, I took one of these uh, mints to go in my juice. I'm gonna go make juice now as well. So it's raining out here right now. Yeah, my onions. Mint. I have a patio tomato in each of these because eventually, when they're all overgrown and producing, I'm gonna take them to the in-laws. Well, at least, oh, it's dry. I can't get seen, I can't seem to germinate oregano seeds for some reason. I don't know why. So yeah, I have uh, two more peas. Uh, spinach. Mister gonna get, be unhappy about this part too. I topped off the rhubarb yesterday. Mister's not gonna ever be able to get rid of it because and I know this because he thought he dug it up the year before last. And it actually popped back up faster and more abundantly. Let me water this. I'm going to make some juice and vegetable juice. I'm just going to 